If you have ever seen the ads of GS3D's 10 kilo for 100 euro and you ask yourself is it any good then this video is for you. Hey everybody and welcome back to Noisy Works. As you might have seen following my social media over there somewhere you have seen I've used a lot of filament and with a lot I mean a lot and this is only half of it so uh, yeah I need to buy some more filament and I did so from GS3D this is a European company they ship from Spain these spools are dirt cheap I got them for less than 12 euro a roll one roll is about one kilo so I'm going to test these out and uh, tell you what I think about it so I hope this is not going to be a I bought it so you don't have to uh, video <laughs> first of all the packaging looks very decent I got PLA plus I think is the only thing they sell the plan is to print a lot of these if you don't follow me on Facebook Instagram or whatever I am compiling a big file of assortment boxes assorting boxes that are made to go in these garage uh, setups so subscribe if you want to free STL coming in a few weeks but before I can finish that video I have a lot of printing to do that's a 1.4 kilos so I bet looking at the spool the spool is not going to weigh 400 kilos so we get more of it One point four. This is the lightest spool, the apple green, and one four five one. So the fluo green is the heaviest one. Okay, so we have six empty spools. We're gonna weigh them one by one. At the moment everything looks nice and good we get a lot of filament for the price we pay about 9 euro for a kilo but now it's time to uh, talk about the elephants in the room we have some smaller issues like inconsistent extrusion which isn't all that big of a problem unless you are printing very fine detail it goes from 1.71 to 1.78 that's quite a lot then we come to the very ugly I had three instances where the printer was still printing but the filament was grinding away giving me these failed prints luckily I could still use them in my uh, project by the way if you didn't see the video click on this link another problem and that's easily fixable is that their spools that they are delivering have a lot of injection marks and the injection marks make sure that they don't right smoothly on your rollers so make sure that if you buy it you check the spools if they are smooth and if not you take some uh, pliers you snip it off and you're good to go the filament has a very good bridging capabilities with only minor sagging above 60 degrees stringing is also a non-issue i think it's safe to say that the pla plus from gs3d is from a good quality seen by the results So I sent them an email and I asked them what they're going to do about it. And they told me that they would give me a voucher for all my trouble and my whatever the hell. But I don't think a voucher will solve the problem. The base material is of a good quality. Now it's time for them to fix their extrusion problems and make sure there's no contaminants in it. If you're looking guys. Now I want to talk about why you shouldn't discard GS3D as long as they show that they care and they are trying to fix it you can buy filament for cheap not only that they are a sole European supplier that supplies filament around 10 euro let's say and the problems that they have 
are easily fixed, I think. Contaminants in the filament only leads to a dirty surrounding, I guess. So if they could clean up their and make that it doesn't happen anymore, they could sell tens of thousands of rolls in a month, I guess. So it's all up to them to make sure that we want to buy this filament. Because why not? Why should you pay 30 euros for a roll of PLA? So I think there's enough room to do some QC to make sure this isn't happening anymore. And maybe I will come back to this and try it again. That's gonna be it for me. Let me know if you're going to buy this and try it yourself, what your experiences are with the filament and leave all your suggestions and comments down below. Thank you for watching. This was Noisy Works, and I see you in the next one. And I asked them what they were going to boot. I'm still going to extrude in the... We have some sample. So first, I'm